Welcome back to my channel. Today, we'll be discussing Rain Again by Jung Seok Chan. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button now and get your BL Library card for the BL Library. Now, before we get started, there will be spoilers, so if you don't want to be spoiled on this manhwa, go ahead and click off now. No worries, I'll catch you next time. For those of you left behind, let's go over some content warnings. There may be references to bullying, violence, and death as these things do appear in the manhwa. But if that's okay with you, let's go ahead and get started. Woojin is living life listlessly. He goes through the motions just enough to stay alive and keep a roof over his head. He's a recent graduate with no thoughts or feelings about his future. To escape the past that has placed him in this frozen state, he moves as far away as his funds will allow him. One day while running an errand for his new landlord around the apartment building, he runs into his neighbor, Jin. Jin is a mysterious man. He comes home more often with wounds than not, with looks that could kill. Most people would be dissuaded from getting close to him. Yet, for some inexplicable reason, Woojin is drawn to him. As Woojin tears down the walls of this mysterious man, he discovers that Jin is much more gentle and caring than he lets on. He also has a darker past that he's doing his best to escape. What Woojin doesn't expect is for Jin to turn around and tear down his walls as well. With two people suffering from mistakes they can't escape from, will they continue to run together or will they run apart. First off, this is beautiful. This was the first thing I read from Jung Seok Chan, and it certainly wasn't the last. The only reason I read it was because of how short it was. I figured it'd be a quick read since it's only 20 episodes long, including the epilogue. So I wasn't expecting much of anything, but boy was I mistaken. This story is short because it says all it needs to effortlessly. This is a story about two people trying to atone for their spotted pasts. It's painful, raw, sexy, and beautiful. It doesn't get much better than that. Now the art in this is not the best. It's rather boxy and isn't always proportionate, which is a bit different than what you might see in modern Jung Seok Chan, but it isn't ugly by any means. As always, it gets better as the story goes, but it won't be anything you'll write home about. Even so, the art isn't why you will want to read this. It's important, sure, but the story is really where this shines. That's not to say there aren't beautiful moments because there are. It just won't be the main course in the dinner that is this Manwa. Jin's lips though, yum. <laughs> On the topic of yummy things, this does contain sexy moments, though there's no explicit nudity, and I would not lump this in with smut or pornwa. But as of recording this, which is from my estimation, almost two years from when I initially wrote this <laughs> review, this actually does have a less censored version in Korea. I'm so upset that we don't get the full effect. You do see Jin's butt, but I wouldn't say it's gratuitous at all. It's just enough to create intimacy between Jin and Woo Jin. I of course still wouldn't recommend reading this at a family dinner, but it's nothing that'll scare anyone if they do happen to catch a glance. It's very nice, though disappointing knowing that there's more that I haven't seen yet. <laughs> I would typically say that the worst part about this is that it ends, but in reality the best part about this is that it ends. It's concise and I don't think it would have been nearly as successful if anything else had been added to it. I wanted more of course, but it was enough. It tells the exact story it intends to without any additional or unnecessary fluff. You'll be able to knock this out in an hour, but you'll spend many hours rereading it because it's just that good. You believe in their love because it isn't just based on surface level things. With all that being said, it's so short and so good that I can't recommend it enough. Because it's so short, the entire series is pretty cheap. You can't go wrong with this one. It's about two people who are punishing themselves for the past they can't erase. They come together seeking comfort and understanding, but ultimately learn to forgive themselves for things they can't possibly change. Read it, I promise it's worth it. So, have you read Rain Again? If so, what do you think? Do you agree with my assessment? Do you not? Let me know and comment below. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Bye!